it is all the news all the time yes it is and uh, hello and it's really nice to have you here uh, adam is away this uh, today uh, he's uh, scuba diving in fiji so you've uh, you've got me for the day and my name is john and i'd like to say hello and uh, press the right button there we go <laughs> and uh, so we're talking about some interesting news today we're gonna look inside uh, amber heard's rented villa in uh, in palma de mallorca very nice as you can see here this is uh, tmz and it's saying uh, this crazy headline the blame in spain falls silent so i'm game obviously that's coming from uh, my fair lady pygmalion uh, the uh, rain in spain falls mainly on the plane but uh, what they're saying is because it's gone quiet she's hiding out in spain basically so uh, ah looking uh, for a place where people wouldn't judge her and she may have found it in Spain. So uh, she was last seen hopping on a private jet back in June, shortly after losing spectacularly the popular trial against Johnny Depp. Whilst Johnny seems to be everywhere, yes he is, basking in the glow of victory, AH seems to be uh, ghosting the world. But she's resurfaced very recently. She's back, though in a land far, far away. Not that far from the UK, to be honest. In uh, Palma de Mallorca. There she uh, she was there with close friend Bianca Booty. There she is, and her one-year-old daughter Una Page Heard. Uh, there she is. Uh, we don't know how long she's been there. It could just be a vacate, oh, va oh. but wherever she calls home is a mystery because there hasn't been a photo of Amber that surfaced for three months. And there she is, uh, looking cute. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Amber's got legal issues for sure. She's on the hook for 8.3 million and uh, she's appealing that verdict and that uh, is a pending, but she's also on the possible hook for another $15 million for outstanding legal fees. So uh, it could be problematic for AH indeed. Um, but she's in Palma de Mallorca and uh, when I was looking around, I was reading the Mallorca Daily Bulletin as I read that uh, every evening before bed. I learned uh, keep myself up to date with the old uh, daily bulletin of Mallorca is saying the Amber Heard's refuge in Mallorca there she is uh, in June June the actress rented a house in Caustics uh, it would seem that since then Mallorca has been something of a refuge for her and her young daughter on Thursday she was seen out and about in the village with a group of friends the house it is understood is owned by the family of Maria Antonia Muna a disgraced former mayor of Caustics and president of the Council of Mallorca, who was sentenced to a total of 11 and a half years for corruption and entered prison in 2013. Well, uh, there's, there's a thing indeed. Uh, as it carries on, it's saying the legal battle continues and so forth and such like. Um, if I do a little Google search, this is Maria Antonia Muna. This is the uh, disgraced former mayor of the region who was uh, imprisoned for corruption. And it seems it's her villa that is being rented out by AH. And so if we do a little quick Google search on Verbo, whatever that is, we find uh, Live Laugh Love. <laughs> Someone's been reading books too much. Uh, 127 pounds average per night. And we've got the uh, duplex townhouse with pool, lake views and very close to the beach. Lovely, looks nice. Can we look at some of the pictures? Uh, let's have a look at some of the pictures. Look at that view. You've got the sea, you've got the mountains, you've got uh, uh, you've got this little pool out front, you've got some gates. This is looking lovely. There's the pool. And uh, it seems that uh, AH has been here since June. Loving life since June. That's a long holiday. It's now currently 2nd of October. So that's what, June, July, August, September. Whew. It's nice when you don't have to do any work. And uh, yeah, so you've got a nice little, uh, nice little uh, sink, shower unit, nice hallway, blue door for some apparent reason. Uh, <laughs> I wonder what that blue door's about. You've got a bathroom going on, B-Day situation. You've got a single bedroom. You've got cacti. Uh, is it cactuses? Cacti. You've got double beds with uh, print and you've got that weird screen stuff. Uh, you've got a kitchen, uh, microwaves and all this activity, similar thing. You've got your sink and your, your stand-in fridge action over there. You're lovely. And then you've got a straw hat you can use, another bathroom, all the things you need. Some horrendous pallets nailed up on the wall. <laughs> Why? Why? Um, 
nasty okay <laughs> that's just nasty um some boxes again uh, rustic again with the old rustic look i think it just looks awful and uh yeah nice little nice little place you got an upstairs up there with the stairs you've got it all oh, live in the sunshine swim the sea drink the wild air drink wild air okay not possible but okay a uh, nice little view over the mountains beautiful beautiful so this is where ah has been spending the last june july august september last four months she's been chilling chillaxing swimming in the pool swimming in the sea having a good old time so there you go and uh it's got three bedrooms it's uh it's 1281 square feet it's got three bathrooms it's got kitchen living room terrace and it's a townhouse a private pool lovely hosted by maria antonio clarmuna which is uh this is this person and uh yeah so there you go if you fancy renting out that ho that uh, villa you can afterwards and uh there you go so uh, i think that's about all we got for you today let me know your thoughts hopes dreams and ambitions and um i'll leave a little uh video up here if you want to watch another video and uh, there's a uh, super thanks if you want to do that there's membership if you want to join that as well that'd be great and uh, don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys later